Hey guys, what is up the NeoCubist here? Welcome to episode 41 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. So, in between this episode and last, as you can see, I added a few things to the wizard tower. Uh, obviously, the thumbnail was kind of pixelated so you guys couldn't truly see it. Um, I am going to switch into creative mode just so I can fly around and sort of show it off. I do have shaders on, I will be turning them off, don't worry. But, up here, this part probably took the longest. Having to place this in survival was not fun, putting these spruce planks and stuff down and as we look on the edges we have some hanging lanterns scaffolding did come in handy but as you can see this build looks absolutely beautiful I am in love with it this is probably one of the f one of my favorite things I think I've ever built so hopefully you guys think it's pretty cool too um, in this episode I'd like to add maybe a few things to the inside but more than anything I want to get on to some other content just because I don't know I felt like we I feel like we've been on this wizard tower for a while um, let me turn off shaders real quick just real quick I promise, it doesn't take too long. Come on, Mojang, there we go. Um, but yeah, this bottom floor is super dope, having all this growing happening down here. Um, now up here, obviously, we have not filled in these floors yet. We have this floor, another floor, another floor, and another floor, and then another floor. So I think like we'll do like brewing stands in here, but I kinda wanna save the brewing stands to the very top, so I think we'll do that in another video. Um, as far as this video goes, the reason I was making this whole brewing tower was so that I could start brewing like fire resistance potions, but I think I'm gonna be okay with uh, these blocks right here if I go back to the nether but I kind of want to mine but I don't know I kind of want to explore too so I think what we're gonna do is a little bit of exploring in this episode and uh, we're just gonna see what happens so let me go ahead and throw everything in my inventory into its respective chest and I'll meet you guys outside okay so I'm gonna take all these materials and uh, I don't think we're gonna need anything else but I'm gonna start off the day by sleeping obviously so that we can ensure that everyone sees when we're exploring but yeah, I think I kind of want to explore off in uh, that direction. We haven't been too far over there. We've been over here. Um, there might be a woodland mansion over there, so I guess we'll just sort of have to figure it out on our own. I don't know. Should be fun, though. But yeah, waking up out of this bed and seeing this monstrous tower, it definitely is a, is a step above what everything else looks like in this world, so we may do a, a makeover of our town at some point, but man, I just look at this and I'm in love with it. I absolutely think it's gorgeous. It took a while to sort of like get those done and stuff just because of, you know, not being able to fly <laughs> makes everything a little bit more difficult. Now we do have elytra wings, and but we don't have mending on them, that's the only thing. I kind of want to wait until I have mending to properly use them because we can like fly around and make exploring a lot quicker. But I don't know, maybe there's something special about going on foot. I kind of want to find another uh, another village and whatnot. Now I'm not going to show me walking endlessly forever um, on camera, but eventually I'd like to uh, come back on camera. Oh, come back on camera. Maybe we could take a boat out. Ooh, that, that might be kind of fun. We'll try that because I put these boats here and I never really took them out. So we'll try along this river and we'll see if anything pops up interesting. Okay, squid, you got to get out of the way, buddy. You got to get out of the way. But yeah, this river, I think it's pretty big, but then again, I don't know. I thought rivers in Minecraft, they're made, like, when they first were implemented into the game, like, four or five years ago or six years ago now, I, I don't know. They uh, ended, like, a lot, but I think that's what, uh, like, most biome boundaries are on now, is rivers. And I believe 1.15 Minecraft might even change that a little bit more. And uh, that's supposed to be the biome update, supposedly. I'll see it when I, I'll believe it when I see it, I guess. As far as that goes, but yeah, I think the river, well, yeah, it looks like it continues over there. What is that? What is that? Is it just a chunk? Okay. I was about to say, what is that? But okay, so see, the river kind of ends here, so we'll just leave the boat here. And uh, let's just find out what's over here. Because eventually, I'd like to start a new little, uh, a new little, uh, what, what you might call it, a new settlement somewhere other than here. Um, it's nice to have everything in one spot, all nice and congealed together. But it's also, there's something special about starting a new area just because, well, I wish I kept my boat. <laughs> we could always craft another one, though. I didn't bring any wood, but we have a really nice axe, so we should be good. I had to repair it while I was building. I had to repair this axe because I had to get so much spruce wood. Like, this spruce forest, not this one, but one of the ones around it is just, like, missing so much wood now because of me. So it looks like that's going to be the ocean, so we're going to gather enough wood to make us a boat, and we should be good. All right. That's the wrong pattern. <laughs> there we go. I love how there's spruce boats now. I dig that a lot. I think it looks pretty cool. So let's go over here. Let's see if we can't find anything super special. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like that wizard tower. Let me know your thoughts on it, if you think I could improve it at all. 
um, ideas for the inside as well. I do know I want like a brewing room and like maybe a cauldron room, a storage room. I'm not really sure, but let me know if you guys have any specific ideas you'd like to see and uh, I'll be sure to get them done at some point. Can I eat in here? Man, nice. So I wanted to see what's over here because I hadn't been over in this direction across the across the way in the ocean. So it'll be interesting to see what develops of it over here. Okay, so these are some pretty cool mountains. Maybe do like a whole... What was that? What was that? Is that just a bunch of bubbles? Why are there a bunch of bubbles here? Is this an underwater ravine? Ah, it is. Cool. So you guys said I can get some things. Okay, I don't want to get sucked down in the in there though. Uh, you guys said there's things like a conduit I can get. I do have enough of those. I think they're Nautilus shells. I don't know. I think I might have called it something wrong, but I have a bunch of those just because of the AFK farm. So I don't really think we need to worry about it a whole ton more. But yeah, let's get out of this boat. Oh, let's get out of this boat. Let me break it and let's do some exploring. Should be pretty fun. Okay. Sorry. So I'm uploading a video right now. It's the first episode of this Falling Falling series. If you guys haven't seen it, it's essentially a uh, custom map where the blocks just constantly fall on a 25 by 25 platform and they're randomized and there's like dungeon spawners fall and like, I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool when I looked at it and it was definitely very fun to uh, record. So if you guys haven't checked that out and you're just here on this channel for the survival series, go check that out as well. The first episode is out. Um, this is episode 41, so yeah, the first episode is definitely out, and that's what's processing right now. For those of you who upload to YouTube too, you know that the infamous processing stuck at 95%, and it looks like it just went live, so I'm gonna go do a few things on that, and then of course you guys don't have to wait at all, but it's kinda cool to know the behind the scenes, but I'm gonna go, uh, do my typical thing, and, uh, fix it all up, and yeah, we'll get on with exploring. Alright, so the video seems to be doing well off the bat, we got like 200, oh, please don't tell me that's gonna kill me. We got like... Wow, that was an interesting water noise. Uh, we've got like 200 views off the bat, which is good in the first like, I don't know, like two minutes. That's like 100 views a minute, so maybe 6,000 views in the first hour. That's generous. I don't really know. Most of my views get about three, about 2.5 thousand to 3,000 views in the first hour. So we'll see how that video performs compared to the Let's Play. I'm definitely never going to stop this Let's Play. I've thought about it. Like, I, you know, I've talked to uh, um, you guys about it. And since you guys are the ones watching it and like yeah I mean like it, it does get stressful at times just trying to like keep it up and stuff but I think if I set big projects and sort of take breaks and like run around and just sort of mine some coal <laughs> and have fun like this and just explore uh, it'll it'll go a lot better for all of us now I know this isn't as exciting as me building or you know something like that so on and so forth I do enjoy exploring I think every uh, I think everyone in Minecraft loves exploring I would love to find a water temple and go to that at some point. That would definitely be preferable. I would love that. Seeing as how I've never been inside of one, only because I always drown because I'm stupid and didn't realize you could make, like, I didn't realize there was enchantments to help with armor and such, and I did grab my boat. Okay, I was going to say, I hope I was smart and grabbed my boat. Wow, that's a lot of kelp. Why did why did all that fall in the water? What's, what's, what's down here? A cave? I must explore it. Okay, we're gonna go. Our first underwater cave. Let's see. Okay, so it doesn't look like anything special. If anything, it looks like a place I'm gonna go in and die. And I can't die this far away from my spawn, so we're gonna get in here. We're gonna eat some bread. We're gonna hightail it out of here. So I'll come back on camera when I see land again. I have no idea when that'll be, but I assume it'll be a good bit. I see land, but I don't know if that's like a actual land or if it's just a little island. I have no idea. Do I have... Oh, I have a sapling. Maybe we'll do a little mini... Do a little mini survival series on this island and see what see what we can do. We already have all time and tools, so probably not. But yeah, that's definitely a very small sort of island here. But hey, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Thank God. I thought I was about to break my boat. But that means, what is that? Is that one of those underwater structures? It definitely is right there. We're going to go check that out. See if we can't kill us some drowns. What are these kind of fish? Kind of pretty. I do want to make an aquarium at some point. I know if I feed these guys raw cod, they will help me out in my adventures. What is this? Okay, that's okay. That's a drown. Okay, so we, we can kill these guys very easy. We got such good... They can't even hurt me. Look, when they hit me, they literally don't even hurt me. I think that's hilarious. Okay, get out of here. You're trash. You're trash, zombie. You're just a... Oh, hello, dolphins. <laughs> I love the dolphins. They're so much better. 
Okay, I, I forget that you don't instantly get, catch your breath when you go up anymore, which it does make sense, but used to, as soon as you popped up for air, it would just regen all the way. Is there something in here? Oh, a chest. Okay, what what is in this chest? A buried treasure map and an emerald and some wheat. Okay, let's get up here before I die. Let's check out this treasure map, because if it's a different one, I definitely want to go see what's in the what's in the treasure map. Let's open this up. Okay, is this the is this the same one we've already been to? I can't tell. It looks weird in my hand like this. Hold on. I think it's because I have two things in my hand. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so I have no idea. This may be a new one, so we'll go to it and we'll see what's there. Um, okay, so I need to go which way? So I'm in the northeast corner, so I need to go I need to go this way, I think. Wait. So this would be... Okay, let's see if Neo can read a map. Okay, yeah, so I do need to go this way. Right? Yeah, something like this. Because I'm in the I'm in the northeast corner, which means I need to travel southwest, which this way is east, so south, and then west. I need to travel this way. And I have that down for a fact. I'm 99% sure I need to travel this way. Yes, okay. Maybe even more this way? I'm not sure. It is going to get dark, so that might be kind of interesting. But hopefully it doesn't get so dark I can't see. Well, I mean it will be because it's night. But so dark that you guys can't see is what I mean. Okay, where is this map? These things are... Okay, so I need to go this way, right? Yes, this way. Cool. So we have a direction now on our adventure. I was hoping we'd find something like that. And uh, hopefully it's pretty cool. Okay, so we're kind of there. Okay, so we need to just go straight down. Okay. So it's going to be on some sand bank in front of us. I think it looks like that thing right there. Yep, it's going to be on that. So hopefully we get there before it's too dark and some, some creepies spawn. But I've definitely never been to this treasure map. So maybe it'll... Ooh, d ooh, a dark oak forest. I think we're going to explore this dark oak forest and try to find the woodland mansion. Oh, wait, where is this X? I need to put up this thing. Okay, so, it, it, so it's in the water. It's in the water. It's like right here. So it should be, should be somewhere around here, potentially. I have no idea, but it should be fun to, to dig out under the water and see if we can't find our... Uh, See if we can't find one of our one of our chests. Let's just look. Okay. Okay. This is this is very stressful. Can I still place torches and get like an air pocket? I can't. It doesn't really work. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go back up. Get air the old-fashioned way. But yeah, this should be super fun to explore. I think we'll do that in next step. I don't know how long this episode is, so we may start in this episode. Okay, am I even on am I on the Okay, I need to put these up. Am I even on the X? I think I need to go see I can't tell because of all this stuff on my screen okay so the X should be like right it should be right here so we'll just dig around it I know it's not supposed to ever be very deep so I'm kind of curious to see where it really is because it's not supposed to be this deep it's not supposed to be under the water first of all but I can I, I I understand. It's not that big of a deal. But let's just see if it's not, like, right here. I know it can't be under... I don't think it can be under sandstone. Hmm. We may have found ourselves a bunk treasure map. I don't know. But we'll... Okay, please don't drown. Okay. We will dig around and see if we can find it, obviously. But there's a limit to my patience. Eventually, I may just give up and, uh... Just, just think of it as a lost cause, I guess. I'm not really sure. I may need to reposition myself on this map because I don't, hmm, yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it. I feel like we've dug out the whole area around here. We're definitely on top of it. Maybe it's a little more over here. Can it be, even be under gravel? I have no idea. No, because that's just going to be solid. So it's got to be like somewhere really close to here. And we're going to feel really stupid when we find it and it's like really close to us. Okay, so I still don't see it or anything. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we'll keep looking. Okay, so I figured something out. I was looking up things to make sure that we weren't messing this up, and I don't think we are. I think we just need to dig more around where the X is and see if maybe it's like kind of like one block over. It's only supposed to be one block deep, so I guess we need to mine. We can see below these blocks, so I think if we just mine like in a row, eventually we'll find... Ah, okay, that's, that's a beautiful chest. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see all that stuff in there? We had just like diamonds and emeralds, oh my. Ooh, and a heart of the sea. Okay, so we'll double click on this, double click on this. 
Double click on this and double click on this. Ooh, is that cooked? Ooh, yeah. Cool. So we got some pretty good stuff out of that. Not bad. Another Heart of the Sea. One diamond, 15 emeralds, though. That's what I'm most excited about. I think that's pretty cool. All right, well, I'm glad we found that. And, of course, it starts raining. I wish I had my fishing rod. That'd be kind of fun out here. I know, I'm really stupid. It's just because I've cut so much that I think this video is longer. No, it's only 14 minutes, so we're going to keep going for sure. Um, we're going to go explore this dark oak forest because I know that's where the woodland mansion f spawns. Now, I do know that it's completely possible. You can look it up, blah, 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 and uh, go to a villager or whatever. Or use one of those f terrain finders or just like go to a villager and trade up with him. But I'm not interested in that. I want to do it the, the legit the legitness way. And we're just going to run around. I know it's not illegitimate to go to the villager and stuff. But I don't know. I really just want to explore this world and see if I can't find it on my own. And maybe fight a few mobs on the way. See creepers? I've got them down. I'm telling you guys. Oh, I thought we found a woodland. Uh, oh, uh, I just let it happen. I just watched that happen. No, I thought I just found the woodland mansion and I was about to scream. I've never even seen one. Like I've, I've literally, I've, I've played Minecraft so long and I remember they added them and I was like, wow, that's really cool. And then I never found one ever. I had searched for a little bit, but I didn't realize how rare they really were. So typically they're like, some people say the average is like 10,000 blocks away from spawn. We're nowhere near that. We're only like, we're only like 2000 blocks away. So we're not that far away. And I'm finally comfortable journeying out with all my tools because of this armor we have. As you can see, nothing has hurt us thus far. I mean, things can hurt us, I guess. But, like, if we look at our armor, like, like check this out. Fire protection 3, unbreak it through, that's actually terrible. But we have, like, mending on these, a protection 4, protection 4. What even is hurting me? Or, uh, trying to hurt me, I guess, would be the correct terminology there. <laughs> I feel so cool saying that. Yeah, you guys can't even hurt me. Ooh, ooh, they have an iron golem, so they must be a pretty established farm. Are you kidding me? Yeah, dude, check this out. Yeah, what were you thinking, skeleton? Good boy. What a good golem. He's a good boy. You want a flower? You want a, a sapling? No? I know they used to, like, hold flowers if you handed them to him. So this is a cartographer. So I guess we could ask him for the... For the... Oh, I love the, <laughs> the iron golems. They're just like... They're like, iron golem smash! Then the mobs just die in one hit. Pretty cool. They also kill you. They do like five hearts of damage. I don't even think I kill. So there's empty maps in here. No, this is the cartographer. So I hope that all the villages or all the villagers in here haven't like died or something. I assume not, but I don't know. I guess you never know. But it's cool that this will never run out of durability. My sword. As long as I don't hit things like a ridiculous amount of times. But see, we're already at 1549 out of 1561, so. That's a tall mushroom. Do you guys see that? That's like, that's that's kind of weird tall. The path that leads to nowhere. <laughs> Good job, villagers, for building that one. What's in here? Emeralds? That's all I'm really interested in. They can keep all their other stuff. But emeralds, I'm always down for. I got 17, so that's a pretty good amount. I love how stacked they make these uh, villages now with loot. Used to, they didn't have that much loot. You cannot blow up in a village. That's unacceptable. Where are your manners, creeper? Where... What did your mother teach you? No manners? Okay, so you guys are... Okay, you don't want to trade with me? That's fine. All right, everyone go home. There's a raid happening. <laughs> There's not actually a raid, but I like freaking them out. And if they're outside, they need to be inside anyways because it's the middle of the night and there's no place for a villager past dark. They used to put stuff in the furnaces. Obsidian? You know what? That's probably better than four cobblestone. Do we have stacks of apples? No, but we can stack the bread. We don't have stacks of apples. So there's like some things I really don't have any business keeping, like those things, so I'm not gonna. But I'm curious because none of these, I don't, I haven't seen very many villagers, and the villagers I have seen don't really, okay, what? How did this guy get in here? <laughs> I'm defending the village. This isn't my job. Where's the iron golem? But yeah, none of them have jobs, which is just super weird. Okay, you have a job. Will you... Okay, you won't trade when you're sleeping? Why not? And do they sleep with their eyes open? Dude, that's just funky. I couldn't sleep with my eyes open, but that's just me. Alright, well, this is a pretty cool village. I think there was, like, one other area we didn't explore. Come on. Don't even know why they try anymore. So I want to go explore that, and then I say we head off and see if we can't find a woodland mansion. We've had such good luck with this world that I want to say we might actually be able to... Ooh, a kitty! Uh, we might actually, so those are the cats you can tame. You guys inform me that you cannot, you can no longer tame the normal cats. 
And I was sort of sad about that, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, really, spider? But I really, really want to get one. But I'm kind of far away from home, and I'm afraid that if I got a cat, I'd get attached, and then it would die. And then I would be a sad, sad man. I don't want that. So we're just going to run around. Is this an Enderman? You know, it used to be really hard to fight. Probably because I had fire aspect. But now, look, they're so easy. Not even going to take the Ender Pearl. That's mad disrespect. Honestly, though, I do want to make an Enderman spawner in the end. So that, like, that's another big project we can get. I know you have to get an Endermite, which up here, when you throw an Ender Pearl down, sometimes a very low chance. You have to, like, sit there and throw Ender Pearls for, like, 10 minutes until one appears. And then you put it in a minecart. And then the Endermen, are, for some reason, are, like, insanely, like, like angry at this endermite and they all run towards it and if you go off of your end island like 50 or 60 or 70 blocks then every, any platform you make just an obscene amount of mob spawn and i don't know it just looks really fun to do it's like almost a cheaty amount of xp too i mean like it's probably like you could get to level 30 after like five minutes but hey that's okay we already have the best enchantments that we can get so that's what i was saying like when i thought i was getting bored with this I, like I already have the best enchantments like what else is there to work towards and uh, what, what else is there to work towards well actually having a built-out world because as much as I like to think so this world compared to some other youtubers I've been looking at and I'm not trying to compare and contrast but I am comparing and contrasting in this one factor of my base is not nearly as built out as theirs I don't know how long these people some of these people like Python not Python MC I'm trying to think who but some people play on their worlds for like years like B00, for instance, he's been on his world for a while, and he just keeps on a trucking on that thing. And uh, yeah, I, I know nothing about woodland mansions. I don't know the best way to find them. I know they're in a dark oak forest, but they're absolutely massive, so I feel like if there is one, we're going to see it. But I want to make sure we do see it, so I'm going to try to get up above everything. It looks like nature provided us with a beautiful staircase right here, and then we can get up even right here, I think. Great right? parkour? Yeah. Cool. So I feel like if we run along the treetops, we have the best uh, chance of seeing it. What is my render distance on? I think I can handle like 15 chunks at least. I just want to get 60 FPS because otherwise it's going to look weird. That's actually insanely nice. I was looking for a desert because I was like wanting to build something out of a bunch of sand. But when I run around, I never really see an area where that would. Okay, so maybe it goes off in that direction. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure, but we'll run off in that direction too. And uh, maybe we'll find one. Hopefully, I guess. Everyone would hope for one. So I assume it goes off in that direction. I don't know how far, so I'm just going to keep running this way. But I want to get really far away from spawn, like 10, 20,000 blocks, and then walk it all back. That'll be so fun. Maybe I should have brought the elytra. <laughs> Maybe so. And a few fireworks, of course. And thank you guys for helping me with the fireworks. I had no idea. Like, used to when elytras were first impl implemented, I guess in a snapshot when I saw them, they gave you creative flight, and I didn't realize that that was removed because it was overpowered, and they reworked them. I do like how they reworked them, though. It's pretty nice. Alright, so you guys have like eight more minutes with me. I'm going to try to make them the most exciting eight minutes you've ever seen. Let's see if we can just find diamonds off the bat. We're just going to go straight down. Is it a bad idea? Yeah. Do I care? No. We're going to find diamonds. If I lose this, this, like pickaxe and everything I will be an ex you will see an extremely upset 20 year old okay and you guys see you guys always think I'm so much older than I am but guys I'm only 20 I don't know why you guys think I'm like 50 years old or something but no I'm only oh not 50 but you guys seem to think I'm a lot older than I actually am I mean I'm not I'm not like saying like yeah I'm not double I'm just like you guys do realize like we're like probably pretty much the same age there's not much of a ooh this is gold I don't think I even have any inventory space, but like, for instance, two flint versus six gold, I'll take the gold every time. I'm curious to see if there will actually be diamonds here. I'm going straight down to layer 11, and we're just going to strip mine it and see if we can't find any. I'm just curious. I just want the XP from that. We'll just see off the bat if we can find any diamonds. We're just going to mine for like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and if not, we're going right back up. I'm just curious, because sometimes when you go to new parts of the world, and you just mine, you can just find an obscene amount of diamonds. But I don't I don't think it's going to happen in this case. That's okay. Alright, I said I'd mine for like 10 or 20 seconds. Now we're going to go all the way back up, but you guys don't have to watch it. Only me. And we're back up with no diamonds, but that's honestly okay. 
Is that a birch forest? Ah, looks like it. So I kind of wanted to, I want to map out the world with some maps, but I didn't, I didn't bring any with me, which is stupid, but maybe we'll do that on another one. People said make a map wall. I agree. I think those look pretty cool. Pretty, uh, dape, as they say. Isn't that what the youngins say? They say, like, dape or whatever. No, I'm kidding. I know it's dope. <laughs> that makes it even cringier. But yeah, I'm just going to explore. You guys got, like, six more minutes with me. I know I need to quit talking about the recording length and just play the game, but I'm just playing it. I'm recording these for when I'm going to be out of town, so like when I upload this, I won't even be in town. Kind of cool that we can do that, but you've been able to do that on YouTube for like ever. <laughs> I'm just, I just didn't use it for a while because I was stupid. I was like, oh, I'm going on vacation. I can't upload for like a week, but no, I can upload the entire time. I also got this new big chair and uh, it's nice. I got it like, a, I want to say like two or three weeks ago and it's made of leather and I have to turn off my air conditioner and the hot Oklahoma heat when I record so it gets like extremely hot and like I'm sweating my booty off in this chair I can just feel the sweat building it's kinda uncomfortable but it's honestly not that bad ooh dust bunnies or as they call them sand bu- <laughs> you live such a beautiful life such a beautiful life Okay, we gotta memorialize the bunny. I'm sorry, guys. That was so beautiful. Or, it wasn't beautiful. But we, we, we must memorialize... Okay, nope. Okay. I just wanted to make a little cross. Come on. Okay. And then we'll... <laughs> this is for the bunny. Okay, really, skeleton? You're gonna interrupt a memorial service for a beautiful bunny? You're ridiculous. But, yeah. Uh, he was a good bunny. Lived a good life. Only knew him for about 20, maybe 30 seconds. Maybe not even 30 seconds. I don't think it was even half that time. I don't think we knew them at all, but that's okay. It's all good. All right, well, we're just going to keep exploring. Hopefully, I find something here. Uh, I know you can find desert temples, I guess, but it is kind of... It's just kind of like walking through a desert. Oh, cactus jump. <laughs> that's the worst idea. Don't do it. Don't do it. You can get really messed up doing a cactus jump. But maybe there- ooh, a desert village! See, we've already found two villages in this episode. You guys can't tell me Neo is a boring episode, because some of you want to see exploring episodes, and I get that, because I personally love exploring. I just never felt like I was safe enough. But with this armor and the food we've got, I think we're in a pretty good situation. I'm gonna throw out- I bet I have a bunch of bows. I don't need arrows either, or bones, or string. Uh, I'm gonna keep the gunpowder. I don't need dirt. I don't need a map that leads to something we've already gotten. I definitely don't need two cacti. And we'll keep that, and we'll keep the sapling just in case things get get sticky. But I've never explored a desert village, so okay, what is that? That must be terracotta, glazed terracotta. Do you have a job? Okay, so you don't have a job at all. Well, I was curious because I want to trade. Do you guys have any good trade? Do you have a trade? No. Dang, why is everyone here jobless? Come on, unemployment rate in the villages is higher than ever. No one has a job. What will we do? Oh, these, these, okay, you don't have a job either. Dude, what is with this town? What is with this town? Do you? No? 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 Okay. No? Really? You know, I'm curious, maybe that's a, maybe that's a bug, I'm not sure. Ooh, this looks cool. I love these. I hear a lot of villagers. Okay, you don't have a job either. What about Iron Golem? You got a job? He's like, no. Oh my gosh. You just open the door like a million times. Aha, uh -huh, so you'll trade t 26 potatoes for an emerald. Well, I don't have any potatoes, but I will keep you in mind for the future. I will steal your bread, just because I need bread to eat. So I do apologize if you needed that bread, but it's now mine. I've repossessed the bread. That's their, them paying their taxes, because they don't have jobs, so they owe me their bread, <laughs> I guess. Okay, so there's there's not much here. I was hoping maybe to find a villager with mending, but I don't even think they have, like, libraries. Do you have a job? Wow. Maybe it's because this place just spawned. Maybe if we come back here in the future, wait, everyone go home. Go home. Get out Get out of here. Quit meeting in the center. Get out of here. Go home. Raid happening. There's a raid. Get home. Go home, guys. <laughs> like, even the baby's like, and That's how I imagined. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there's not much here, but I did scare them and steal their food, so I feel accomplished, <laughs> I guess. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this exploring episode, uh, the next episode is also going to be me exploring. 
So I hope you guys did enjoy episode 41. I hope you enjoyed getting to see that wizard tower reveal. Obviously the inside isn't done, but the outside is finished. That's why I named it the title I did. Just because I feel like I spent so long on that that it needed to be named finished. I'm not sure how long it took, but it did definitely take a long time. I'm glad we found acacia trees. We could do some cool stuff with them as far as building goes. But yeah, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. If we could get a thousand likes on this, it would really help the channel out. For those of you who watched the entire thing and are not subscribed to my channel, why not consider subscribing? Because then maybe uh, you'll see more of my videos if you really enjoy them. But also make sure post notifications are on for my channel, guys, because otherwise you won't see any. Oh, there we go. Already got it. Uh, that way, you guys will see all the videos that I make as well as the live streams I do. So keep in mind, I do live stream. So if you don't want to miss those, turn on those all notifications for my channel. But anyways, if you guys are curious about the music, it's also in the description below. Leave me some comments. I see every single comment and I heart every single comment. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in episode 42. Bye.